So we're going to set up our composition notebooks, and I'm going to give you five sections and a, an approximate number of pages to include for each section. And keep in mind, this is approximate. If you have really tiny writing, uh, you might make it a little smaller. If you have very large writing, uh, you might make it bigger. If you like to doodle, you might leave space for that. Right? I'm going to give you a rough approximation, but you've got to remember, these are your notes, not my notes. You are going to use these notes to study. I'm not going to use your notes for anything. I'm not even going to collect your notes and look at them. So you have got to make them so they work for you. I'm just going to give you some suggestions to get you started. Of course, you've got your traditional composition notebook, which Mrs. Doyle asked you to purchase during the summer, and we're going to divide it into five sections. So we're going to start off by opening it, and we're going to leave, if you've got a blank front page, you're going to leave that blank. Maybe start here on the second page, maybe even go another page if you like. It depends on your own style. Uh, but the first section is going to be called vocabulary. So right up here at the top, you might write vocabulary or words or words of the day. Or if you want to be fancy and Latinate, you could write lexicon, whatever you like. So there's our first section, vocabulary. And then we're going to leave eight at least eight pages uh, blank for our vocabulary section. And so we're going to count them like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which some might argue is actually 16 pages, uh, but eight page turnings. And then our second section... Uh, we're going to call sentence crafting. So same thing, right up here at the top. Sentence crafting. And sentence has three E's in it. S-E-N-T-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Sometimes people like to spell it sentence with an A. No A's in sentence. Sentence crafting. And in the sentence crafting section, that's going to be our biggest section because eighth grade is a sentence crafting year in English, we are going to save 20 page turnings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, which gets us to our third section, which is the section called Writing Structures. This is where we'll put in paragraph structures and essay structures and story structures. So writing structures, and of course I don't need to tell you that writing starts with a W. And the writing structures section, we're going to save at least 15 pages for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, which gets us to our fourth section, which is figurative language. Figurative language. An example of a figure that you're familiar with is metaphor. Figurative language. The figurative language section is only going to be five or so pages. Three, four, five. And then uh, you might put in a section here, you could call it uh, notes or miscellaneous or etc. 
We might have a, a, a fifth section here um, later on in the year. Now, here is the tricky part. You're going to take your composition notebook, close it up so you're looking at the front cover, and then you're going to turn it upside down and backwards. So it's going to go upside down, and that's going to cause it to be backwards. And then when we open it, we'll be going through our notebook backwards, and it'll be like having an entirely fresh book. And this section, right up at the top here, even though you're thinking that's not the top, that's the bottom, right up here at the top, we're going to write scratch notes. And scratch notes is a section where anytime we have to answer questions or, or write sentences or do something that we're not going to turn in to be graded, we're going to use scratch notes, and scratch notes is our ugly section. We're going to go ugly always in our scratch notes section because we just don't care about it and probably we're never going to look back at it. It's a day-to-day -day, um, work section. Okay, so there we go. We've got um, all of our sections. One thing that you might think about doing is, if you're a very organized person, you might think about getting little section dividers. You can actually buy plastic section dividers, or you can just use a sticky note, which if you turn it upside down and you put it in like so, it allows you to write on it, let's say, figurative language, and then we can stick it in there like that, and so that way when the book is closed, the little tab sticks up so it's easy to navigate from section to section. I will leave that kind of thing up to you. And let's remember, these are your notes, not my notes. So you might be a simple basic person and everything in here is just in plain old black and white. You might be a super organized person and have little tabs sticking up. You might be an artistic or a colorful person and have all sorts of highlighters and colored pencils and pens going on. Make this your own because this notebook that we're setting up today is designed to get you through your ninth and 10th grade years, especially with regard to writing.